Ah. 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 Hank, why is it that all the pros make the climbing look so easy, but when we do it, it feels like I'm going to die. Do you trade for a man on? No, I've never actually done any specific training for climbing, to be fair. That's probably why. Yeah, that's probably why I'm suffering. But coming up in this video, we've got some drills for you for when it comes to those climbs. Oh, I'll leave you low, mate. Oh, gosh. I kill it anyway. Hank's actually quite good at climbing. Now, if you're anything like me and you hit a climb and you instantly feel like you're going to stop pedaling and go backwards, then don't worry. I feel like that too, and it's not only you. Yeah, it's definitely not only you, and so many of us in the cycling industry feel the exact same. So I reckon we should hit it head on and explain to you what exactly is happening there. Now, as soon as you hit a steep climb or an incline, the first thing you're gonna notice is your leg speed is going to drop, and it could even go down to a grind, which is not gonna be fun for anyone. It almost feels like you're doing a gym session. It really does, yeah. Now everybody will have a slightly different leg speed that they feel comfortable at. Some of you might prefer spinning, some of you might prefer grinding. But when it comes to choosing your gear ratio, it's not quite as easy as one size fits all. No. And if you are struggling on the climbs around in your area, then what you could do is add a different cassette or find a slightly bigger gears on the front. Now all this is going to do is give you more access to more gears, meaning you can get into a nice rhythm that suits you on the inclines that you're going to be riding. Ultimately, if you can find a nice rhythm, then you're going to find it a lot easier to get up the climb and you're going to stop yourself from zigzagging or just levering the bike from left and right just to get up that climb. Yeah, I find myself zigzagging quite a lot. But now I've got gear sorted, let's move on to the drills. And I guess we need to go down to the bottom. It all climb. starts at the bottom of the climb. Oh, so, here we go. Here we go. Ow. Ah. Now, when it comes to doing these drills, if you have a power meter, 100% use it, because that'll mean you have numbers to aim for and progress with. But if you don't have one, do not worry. These drills can be done 100% with that one. Yeah, now we would highly suggest before you get to the climb, or if you're on it, to do a little bit of a warm up. What I mean by that is pedal nice and easy for 10 minutes and then ramp up the intensity. That way you can start these drills with nice warm muscles, meaning you can get the most out of these drills. The first drill I'm going to walk you through are the 2040s. Now, these are one of my favorites. They're tough, but you get a lot out of it. Now it's 20 seconds on and 40 seconds off, but not totally off. So you want to do 20 seconds at 98% and then back off or for those 40 seconds and then repeat. You want to do a block of four and then a few minutes off before you do your next block. So 20 seconds on, let's go. Once you've done that, you back off, but you can't back off totally because you're still climbing. 40 seconds recovery and then back into it. Woo. If you don't have a long climb near you, then don't worry. Why not try some hill reps? Now I know they're not the most exciting, but just see it as training and they can be done absolutely anywhere. You can do it on a climb that's 100 meters long at 10% or a kilometer long. You just want to get to the bottom of the climb, really attack it, full gas, and just hold on to that pace for as long as you can. You're going to die. Your pace is going to drop, but it's good training. And then you get to the top and then you have to do it. U turn, go back down, repeat. Yummy. Oh. They're definitely not yummy. Back down I go. Whew. Being able to ride at all variety of different cadences is going to help you in all areas of the sport, especially when climbing. So you can do a few drills to help with your cadence, and one of them is overgeared efforts. Now this was a big one for the World Tour Pro Cyclist. It helps build strength 
and helps build that all important FTP. And all it really is, is doing your climb or a period of that climb in an overgeared effort. So you're looking at about 70 RPM. So find a bigger gear and basically try and engage all those muscle groups from your glutes to your hamstrings all the way down to your calves. And this is really gonna help build strength when it comes to hitting those steeper sections. Let me tell you though, it's an absolute brute of a session. Now this next one is a really good one, but it is a brutal one. Surges on a climb essentially replicates how a race is ridden on a climb. You're at your limit, you're riding 10 out of 10. The next minute someone attacks and you have to step it up a notch and go with them. So for this drill, you want to find your climb and then start riding at around eight to nine out of 10. Ride at that pace for about 45 seconds. Then for 10 seconds, you want to sprint at full gas. 10 seconds, as hard as you can. Then when the 10 seconds is over, get back to riding that eight out of 10. It is a brutal one. You can add some rest in there. Or if you're feeling good, skip the rest and just do that on repeat. But it is savage. Three, two, one. Ah. Being able to get out the saddle at just a moment's notice is a valuable skill you're gonna to wanna to nail. And so, there's a few drills that you can do to increase your ability of getting out the saddle. Starting with just popping out the saddle for five seconds, 10 seconds, and then building your way up. Now it's not just the beginners that can practice that, but also you guys who can get out the saddle and smash it. Yeah, a drill you can do if you are a confident person out of the saddle is go for, I don't know, try and do three minutes out of the saddle. That is going to burn. And also a nice little competition you can have with your mates is who can stay out of the saddle the longest. Yeah. It's going to get competitive. Oh my gosh. Something I really used to struggle with when I was racing was when you get to the top of the climb and then someone attacks at the top going over the top of the climb and I'll get to the top and I'll be like, all right, I can take it easy now. But it doesn't really work in a race situation. So a drill that you can practice out on the roads is this one. So the drill I used to do when I was out, I'd find a climb, ride up it around seven to eight out of 10. When you get to the top of the climb where it kind of plateaus, that's when you need to attack full gas. Come on, Hank, yeah, top, attack, attack, attack. It's a really good drill to do. So then when you come to the race situation, you can be the one making people hurt rather than the one hurting. But you only need to carry on for, say, a few minutes after the top, then you can stop. You don't need to keep going forever. So there you have it, a few drills for you to try out wherever you are in the world. I have to say, if you are in Florida, you don't even need hills, you can do it on the bridges and you'll be ending up climbing like console, won't you? Yeah, <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, we will. Ciao. Ciao.